Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for another episode of my short lifespan legacy of doom. Um, my fridge just broke. We are baking a cake to hopefully age up one of our four infants currently living under this roof. And we're all in all just trying to survive. Nothing major. Let's get started with this long brigade of freaking children to age up. We'll start with Claire. As you can see, they're all ready to go, and I don't want to deal with the whole, you forgot my birthday, like, you literally can hardly sit up. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, here we go. Look at the shark jimmies. <gasps> oh. Sweetie. Screenies. Okay. That was so cute. I'm obsessed. Oh my god, we got a bonus trait. Of course we did. We're so slay. Top-notch infant. And we are wild slay. Oh my god, that little onesie she is wearing is so freaking cute. I feel like I've never seen that before. I am so obsessed with that. <clears throat> if you eat my cake, I swear to god. Okay, I thought Skylar was about to come eat my cake. I was like, I will literally cut that bitch. Um, not to be dramatic or anything. Here we go with our sweet baby angel. Oh, thank god. Okay, we have... An independent toddler slay so happy somebody just died in the middle of doing birthdays I can tell who the fuck died losing uh, yeah that's wonderful who died literally Annie was adopted Riley was adopted yeah who cares I don't know who died but somebody died let's age up sterling here comes little Sterling. So cute. Let's get a good screeny. Oh, so cute. Spit all over the cake. Love that for you. Sterling is also wild, which we love to see. A little wild king. And then let's hurry up and do our last baby. Like ASAP. Sebastian is our last little one, and I'm so freaking excited. This child is screaming. Don't really like that. And last but not least, little Sebastian. So cute. Oh my god, good job. Let's hurry up and age that up. It's so weird when I age them up because there's so many of them. He is clingy. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Love that. The thunder in this game is thundering right now. Holy shit. I want to go look at our little toddlers in cast and just see how adorbs they are. So we'll do that really quick. Um, okay, this child, this is Claire. There's no way you can't tell me. Oh my god, she has her dad's hair! Okay, she is so darling and so cute. I love this hair and I really want to keep it. Um, so like, if you don't like it, literally too bad. Oh my god, the little popsicles are cute. Let's do the popsicles. And then we'll just get her like some cute little shorts that match. Just little like, do the blue ones match? I feel like those match enough. And then for shoes, we'll also just do some little blue ones. And then for her jammies, oh fuck, I like that. So we're going to keep it and we're going to call that good enough. I just wanted to get Sebastian and homie is just farting up a storm, but let's look at him and Cass anyways. Okay, well, homie's just adorable for starters. I love him. Let's get rid of his accessories. Oh, my little brown eyed king. He is so adorable and I, I just love, love, love him. Uh, what are we gonna put him in? Okay, this shirt with the little cape is actually so darling. Uh, that I'm obsessed with. I don't even hate the pants, just maybe not that specific color. Like, the little brown is cute. And they all, for some reason, got aged up with these weird fluffy shoes. I'll just put them in some sandals. And then, um, I like the full body jammies. I think they're so much cuter. These are from the new for rent pack. Oh, these are cute. These are cute. We're using these. We moved on to little Sebastian, who is so darling. I just love this curly hair. I think it's so freaking cute. I have never seen this, and this is, like, so cute. This is from the wedding stories pack. He looks like young Sheldon. He's so adorbs. I'm not going to keep him in this because I don't think it really makes sense, but I do think it's, like, literally one of the cutest things I've ever seen on the planet. I like this shirt from the new for rent pack. I like the details on it. It's giving like little old man vibes, like little old grampy vibes. 
I think that's cute. And again, with the f weird fluffy shoes. I don't know what that's about. Not a fan, that's for sure. And then we'll do his jammies too. Um, maybe we could do like some matching ones. We'll do like the orange. Those are cute. Slay. Derek is just in our house. I'm like in the middle of trying to do toddler makeovers and he's here fighting with our stepmom. So that's cool, I guess. Here's my darling queen. Uh, the green eye gene in this fam is running so strong, I swear. I think we should do a little dress. Um, because I'm a sucker for a little dress moment. Maybe we could do a purple one to match her hair. Ah! Yes. Immediately, yes. Do some matching shoes. Let's do these darker ones. And then again, the jammies. What is with all the do-rags on these kids? I swear... And then maybe we could do, like, something cutie patootie, like, ah, oh, the llamas, adorbs, love. All right, we officially aged everyone up, which is fantastic, and now we just need to hurry up and get, what the hell? Get our shit together. Now that we got these goals all taken care of, I want her to come and take care of the plants a little bit, because, as you all know, we're trying to get our mommy dearest, um, like out for, oh, I don't want her to be a vampire anymore okay that's all I have to say we're gonna harvest our garlic let's weed some plants I don't know this is becoming so frustrating I swear look at little Eleanor being the best auntie ever that is so sweet I'm sorry I'm obsessed oh my god I love that the lightning in this game is so scary I swear to god why didn't you eat that? Eat that, please, child, before you get, like, taken away from me or something. Ugh. At least the toddlers are so much more self-sufficient than infants are, because I can't handle that emotionally. We're just doing our best right now. No biggie. The lightning is going crazy, though. I just don't want to be a vampire anymore. Is that too much to ask for? Ugh, my queen! Parenting her kid. Good job. Good freaking job. You're playing in the trash. That's so fucking annoying. Um, you're doing semi-okay. Just gardening. Love that for you. I'm over here just trying to take care of our kids. And where's Eleanor? Flirting. Flirting. What's wrong with you? You're scared of the ghost. That's your son-in-law. You're literally fine. And then, how are the kids? You need a bath. You're tired. Everyone's tired. Get it together, I swear. Eleanor! <gasps> oh, this poor child is scarred emotionally. Valid. It's Winterfest and I don't want to deal with it because the holidays glitch. Like, it doesn't say it's Winterfest for um, Beatrix but or Eleanor. But it does say it for Stella. All the kids it says it for, none of the grown-ups. What the fuck? We have a ton of garlic in Wolfsbane, but we're still waiting on our plasma fruit, which is so fucking annoying. Like, I'm so sick. Ah! We have plasma fruit. Where did we get plasma fruit, though? I think it just came from the seed packet. Okay, awesome. Let's see if we can go do this, though. I feel like we should be able to at this point. Maybe I'll just buy a bar. Can we do this? Make a drink... Vampire resistance cocktail. No, no, no. I think it's got to be further down here. Ultimate vampire cure. Okay, we have garlic. We don't have enough plasma fruit. We don't have enough wolf spin. But we will momentarily, I swear. Eleanor has a gig today that I completely forgot about. So we're going to go with her because I don't have a feeling or I have a feeling that this is not going to go that well. So obviously we have to be there to witness the chaos. We're here practicing our little ass, or acting. We gotta get in the hair and makeup like ASAP. Hair and makeup. As soon as we like get the points for trying to practice. There we go, my little queen. I went to the movies last night and I saw Anyone But You with Sydney Sweeney. Um, and I am so hyped that we are starting up the rom-con genre again, because in the early 2000s, we were just dropping banger after banger after banger, and then we stopped for some reason, and I think it's because the genre as a whole took itself too seriously. I'm just here for a silly little romance with a little bit of miscommunication and some lifestyle, like, you know, 
flex. So, like, that's all. Just l let me have my moment. We're a redhead, and I'm kind of into it. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, it's, it's serving looks for me. We are literally wearing a hot dog costume. If this is not iconic, I don't know what is. Um, I am loving that. I hope we stay in the hot dog. Please don't take it away from me. Ugh. Oh, now we look like a sexy pirate lady. Boring! Bring back the hot dog! The one thing I don't get about this whole thing is why is there a pirate in the desert? Like, what's going on? Let's see it, queen. Oh, yeah. You can see on her hand her friendship bracelet from her sister is still on. <laughs> that is so sweet. Like, guys, you cannot tell me that the stupid friendship bracelet is not the cutest thing you've ever seen. I love that. We're going to do the safe singing scene because we're not the best singer from what I know. Like, I'm pretty sure we're actually kind of bad. Oh, yeah. We're a little bad. I don't think we have any singing skill. Okay, queen, pop off. We're doing a risky show product scene, though, because I want to get a good gold level day. Okay, we got our gold level day. Let's go home early. Ah! We're a two-star celebrity. That's a wrap. Eleanor finished all her scenes. The crew is shutting down, and the footage is being sent to editing. She earned 576 simoleons and earned fame. Let's stay on the lot really quick. Eleanor was nominated for an award for her breathtaking acting performance. We have got to go to the freaking award show, and we were promoted, so that's a sleigh. I like how they just turn the lights off on you. They're like, yeah, you can stay on set, but, like, we're, we're going the fuck home. We're home. We've made it. There's floating apples. I don't even know what the hell that's about, but whatever. Um, let's check on the children. Oh, they're miserable. Awesome. You're not doing anything, so why don't we potty train... Claire because we really need to. I don't know what it is about Elena and Skylar but they're so good at like autonomously taking care of the babies it like almost makes me jealous. Um resume your turkey dinner queen get to it. There's a fire! Jade! Oh my god! Oh my god! Extinguish the fire please! Please extinguish the fire! Oh my god! This is you're not doing what I asked! Granted, I was taking screenshots, but that's my job. I'm literally unimpressed. Can you stop? Can you just extinguish the fire? Dude. Oh my god. This is so fucking annoying, I swear to god. That's so, so irritating. At least I got some good screenies. It's literally Winterfest. Okay, wait a second. Do you see all these random people here? Okay, other than us. So there's this random girl. Samantha. Callie Landgrab. Um, bizarre. All these people dressed in, like, Christmas clothing. Who is this? Literally, are they together? What's, what's going on? What's going on, team? Little confused. On the right side, at least I put the fire out. Clean the floor. That's so freaking annoying, I swear to God. Maybe we could come right... Write a little... Write a poetry book. No, you're feeling confident. Write a motivational book. Please. Write a motivational story. How are you? You are fine. Now the sink is broken. I simply cannot fucking deal with this. Literally, what's going on here? She's, like, having some kind of paranoid fit. Like, same girl, but, like, get it together, low-key. Does that make me a kind of a bitch? I don't care. Poor Claire, man. This poor child has been interrupted every time we try to take care of her, and now she's literally standing in the pouring rain while the thunder fucking rains down upon us. I really want us to join an after-school activity, but, like, how does one do that? Just... Join after school activity. Oh, slay! So easy. I want us to be on the chess team because we were like a little chess protege when we were a child, and I think that would be good for us. Let's keep playing though because we are really good at chess and we're gonna take the chess team by fucking storm, I swear to god. I did what any decent parent does and I just gave my child a fucking iPad so it would stop. I have no regrets. On the bright side, we finished our book, and I really want Elena to kind of go hang out with her baby daddy, 
So maybe we could go visit him, although I'm not totally sure where he lives. Where's my mailbox? Does anyone know? It's so dark, I can't even freaking tell. Huh. Huh. But let's go see our baby daddy. On the bright side, they haven't moved, which makes it easy. His dad did die, which, like, sucks or whatever. But maybe if he would have married us and made us wife material, we'd actually give a fuck. Aw, he's out here waiting for us. We're like, hey, could you uh, love us? Um, let's give him a gift. Let's give him a Y2K look. Obviously, that makes perfect sense. If you do ask me. Aw, he loves it. Aw, so cute. He's like, thanks. Smooth apology. What do we have to be sorry for? He's the one who didn't call. Literally. Literally, what are we sorry for? We're not sorry. I'm not gonna lie, we kind of just came here to, like, show face and, like, prove that we're still with him because he hasn't called. And I feel like if he's not gonna ask us to marry him, maybe we should just get with someone else. Not opposed to that. You guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments what you guys want me to do. Like, he's going to bed. We're doing sit-ups randomly. Let's just go the fuck home. I hate that when you leave, like, your sims just stop doing everything you asked. And, like, I low-key get it, but at the same time, it's super fucking annoying, I swear. How are you? You're fine. How's my iPad, kid? I need you to level up so you can get up the stairs on your own because it's really annoying me that you can't. No offense. You're tense because of the fire. Like, we've had 76 of those. Get over yourself. I swear. You're doing okay. You're just playing your chess, my, my little protege. Why is everything in this goddamn house broken? I swear. Can you come repair this and then repair that, please? And thank you. Finally, we can self-publish our story. Let's go ahead and do that. ASAP. You're gonna go potty. Perfect, my queen. So obsessed. And then you can, like, mop this puddle or something. I don't care. Then, honestly, just go to the fuck to bed. We published our book. Slay. I'm gonna give the t children, like, a proper room. Just... I need to move out someone first, because I simply don't have the space. I'm calling us to a grand meal, even though the holiday is glitched, so I don't have to deal with the whole fucking, we had a bad holiday, hmm. And like, is Father Winter even coming? Million dollar question, is he even coming? Let's see, everyone's happily enjoying our meal together, one big happy fam, and then this child is doing like, labor. Awesome. Wouldn't be a Sims holiday without some child labor. And an iPad kid down here in the corner. <gasps> oh my god! Did you see that lightning? Crazy. Is that turkey on our doorstep right now? Oh. Just kidding, that's not turkey. I got so excited for like literally no fucking reason. But whatever. Whatever. I just got notifications. Winterfest was awful. But like, Father Winter literally never showed up. So how is that my fucking fault? I did not realize we had so many vampire power points. Like, we can buy more shit. Hmm. Should we? Could we? Hmm. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Um, what is this glitch that's going on with my rug? Uh... What on earth? Um... Okay, I don't know how this happened, but I'm glad that I got it on camera. Okay, that doesn't make any sense, but whatever. I don't mean to freak anyone out, but our plasma fruit, or I mean our wolf spane, is finally, uh, finally ready. Which means we are just about done being a vampire. The moment of truth, I swear. Make a drink. 7 a.m. We're gonna make a drink. Make a little cocktail. Um. Vampire resistance? No, no, no. What are we missing? We're not missing anything. I just, like, can't see it for some reason. Ultimate vampire cure. Oh my god, the time has fucking come. I swear to god. No one can bother me with this, I swear. 
Not to be dramatic, guys, but this is our fucking moment. Hells, yeah. I'm so excited. Why do you have that look of disgust on your face? Are you having a little bit of a moment? I don't blame you, queen. I'd be feeling kind of some type of way, too. Oh, yeah. Very excellent. B is off to her first thing of school. We have a poor quality vampirism cure. How ironic is this? Like, girly pop. Get it together. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Please don't roast in the sun. Oh my god, here we come. Oh my god, it's happening. I'm so excited. Yes! Ah! Oh my god, I'm so fucking happy we're not a vampire anymore. Elena has left the undead life. It is no longer for me! Yes. We are finally not dead anymore, and I'm so freaking excited. I don't even know how to explain it to you. Bye-bye coffins. Bye-bye bullshit. And I think it might just be the appropriate time to uh, move out my two leading ladies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this episode right here. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because you know I love when you do that so you can follow along with what we do next. I plan on building Miss Elena and Miss Jane the perfect little cozy cottage getaway so they can like, you know, live out to be little old ladies together and just be in love forever and ever, amen, and garden and just be perfect. So that's what I'm hoping for that. And don't forget to drink your water, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.